Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics for this Friday, wherever the heck the number is, the 17th I believe it is. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to take off of yesterday, we talked about, uh, thanks to the great Dan Hooven, uh, about consistency in WWE and social media and, and, and that kind of stuff, and what, what cues could we take from that. And for today, I wanted to discuss something that, that caught my attention when I was sitting there watching NXT on Wednesday night. And I know we're talking wrestling, and some of you guys may not be fans of wrestling, but I think you guys should pay attention to what they're doing if you're especially interested in social media and what other people are doing and how you could better that. Now, you know I've had a lot of conversations on here about uh, about doing the best you can with with a little basically uh take that iphone out just put it up you know talk talk in front of it for a little bit get used to that uh, develop your thing i talked to a couple of great guys here on wednesday uh doing doing a video series kind of in the background uh, not really part of their job but they feel it was important so they started it kind of on whatever free time they had and they're making it work with very little and and we had a conversation about how they can maximize what they have and the little resources they have within the company um, which also tends to always end up being, well, maybe we can uh, ask for a little bit of money. Because what we ask for, especially in a company setting like that, is not very much. A couple hundred bucks for this program, for this little board. That gets you a long way, I think, these days. But WWE really impresses me because I'm watching NXT. And they have a section where they went to the San Diego Comic Con. A big event happened in this past week. And... Uh, there's some, it looks like they're having an NXT panel of some sort. And of course, uh, WWE's already periscoping everything. If you follow any of the WWE stuff, you're following that Tough Enough reality show. I'm getting so many notifications for, for Tough Enough, it's ridiculous. And somebody made a comment on the, on the, on the show that uh, something that they saw on the show that should have been like kind of a, ooh, shocker, surprise kind of thing. They're like, I already saw that on the internet. Because they are just periscoping everything from the week. Every, all, all of the even the tough enough contestants have they made. I think they made them get Twitter accounts, and, and I think they have Periscope, and, um, and it's really interesting. So, going back around to the NXT thing. Sorry, uh, the San Diego Comic Con. Uh, there was a, they were filming it, and and, and I can tell. I, I can kind of see a little bit of the the camera roll. Uh, you know, the, the rolling shutter. A little bit, so so I can see when you're taking that little iPhone and blowing it up to an HD TV, uh, you can tell it's not exactly how they're filming everything else, and that's how they did. It. And I'm like, oh, they're going to have uh, uh, them announcing the main event, and that's it, and it's going to be like 30 seconds, right? No, it was it was a couple of minutes. They went to they went to the general manager William Regal. He's announcing it. They go to the challenger for the next like uh, down on the panel. The iPhone gets right up on them, and they have a conversation between the two of them. And that's it. It's the iPhone. And then I was trying to figure because there's another guy that, that that ran up with an iPhone and he was holding it the wrong way. And I realized it was periscoping at the time too because you could see a little bit of the display and people chatting. Uh, and that's what they used. Uh, there's another thing. Uh, a couple weeks ago, there was a WWE live event in Boston, and The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, yes, big movie superstar, he popped up at a live show, not televised, anything like that. And one, he's coming out, and he's selfieing himself the entire time. He put those on Instagram and Twitter later. Uh, and they they followed him, but for the most part, it looked like they followed him from... It, it looked like they were following them from cell phones. It looked like they were following them from from several different because, like, even none of the video matched up, right? Uh, as far as uh, there's probably about three different shots between what he shot. Somebody uh, there was somebody at ringside that looked like, and that may or may not have been a real camera. But then they were shooting this one shot from like behind the crowd, uh, down down a ringside, but like you know, on the floor behind the crowd. And they took all that and they they. And some of it, like if it was from Instagram, if it was from YouTube, they showed an Instagram page and they kept cutting, you know, as if you just had multiple cameras and that was your presentation. Now, that's very interesting to me, too, because if you do a presentation like that, like, look, Instagram, this, da, 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 this, 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 and this. Yet I go to WWE event like I did on in Pittsburgh here on Saturday, as we discussed earlier this week, and everywhere there is a please no uh, recordings, you will be ejected, da, 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 da. But then you have this kind of stuff. Then you also have people capturing 
speeches after a wrestling match, you know, after the pay-per-view goes off air, and those are up, and they don't seem to be taking those down anymore. It's still their proper. They could, and they could monetize it as well, but they have to go look for it because there's nothing but content match against it. Whole other conversation, which I've discussed at length and got pulled from YouTube for. But anyways, so you have big WWE. They're sending people out with iPhones. Instead of sending a camera crew to San Diego Comic-Con, they sent their two social media people, is my guess, I'm estimating here, one to run the Periscope, run to ta one to take actual video, and do all the tweets and everything like that. And uh, that's it. That's your crew. Versus saying someone with a big ass camera, he's going to need an audio guy, uh, you know, all this other stuff. You know, you're probably going to have to pay him. Uh, you probably had to pay him uh, 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 union wages versus uh, the social media guys. You probably got to pay a lot less to go to go capture stuff like this. Uh, and you know, they're definitely in a cost saving kind of measurement here. They're obviously a lot bigger, have a lot more employees, but. Uh, that's, if that's all you need, why send the camera crew? If that's acceptable, why send the camera crew? And to WWE, it seems like it's plenty acceptable because they just used it on their television program. Now, granted, this is on NXT. I haven't seen a lot on WWE other than the Rock presentation from when he came back. But uh, they're shooting promos on iPhones. Very inventive promos on iPhones. It's really, really interesting. If it didn't happen there in the studio, it was probably shot on an iPhone. They're not, it's not like back in the day where uh, it, when you watched WWE and uh, say Million Dollar Man when he got his million dollar belt and they went to a jeweler's and, and, and interviewed the guy and all this stuff. There was, that's a day. That's a camera crew. That's a giant production. And they don't do that anymore. But they can send a guy with an iPhone and they can shoot a promo somewhere around town. That's something I think is missing a little bit. So my kind of response to that, it was kind of like a very uh, upfront response was, hey, they're, they're filming these with these iPhones. What are you doing? And I mean that. What are you doing? I don't know how many people are like, oh, I want to start a show. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. It's like, great. You got an iPhone? You got even an Android phone with some half de decent video? Start. They're using it on TV. What's your excuse for not starting your thing? You know, I mean, they're using it for TV and it's on somebody's watching that on a 60 inch Samsung OMG TV, right? Somebody out there is. I don't think they notice, but they are. And you're making your thing for YouTubes and, and for other people to watch on their cell phones and, and, and whatever the case may be there too. start. Do it. You have the tools. And I'm talking to the people. I think typically the people listening here. Um, are in this space and have one of these and it's not hard to get an iPhone honestly if you get the free iPhone what is that right now an, an iPhone 5 I, I I think I want to have an opportunity very soon to get back a couple of uh, iPhone 4s's that we've lent out the family uh, as we upgrade and I am seriously looking at taking those iPhone 4s's and those are just spare cameras to the point where you know where could I use these where I can use multiple cameras, and that's what I edit with. I'm very, very interested in that concept. They're very capable. Those are the 4Ss. You get a 5, which I think is the free phone, then you have everything you need. Uh, the video is there. I don't I, 7, 720, 1080, whatever the case may be. I shoot this in 720. You don't need 1080 right now unless you know you're going to TV. And even then, it's not really required. So... Take a cue from WWE. If you want to see what I'm talking about, uh, if you're on, I believe NXT uh, is on Hulu. I don't think you need a subscription to watch it there. Or if you happen to have the WWE Network because you're one of those people uh, like me, uh, you can check that out. It was this last week's episode. Again, look for the San Diego Comic-Con stuff. And it's actually probably on their YouTube as well, WWE's YouTube. Uh, we were just talking about all their great social media. So let me know what you think about that. Uh, am I wrong? Is there something about uh, just shooting with your camera that I'm missing that's holding you back from your project? that you want to do your dream project that you want to do you don't need it even to the point where uh, i have all this three thousand dollar camera equipment and i kind of for some things just want to go out with my phone and make it happen only thing i want is I, I want a better microphone for the phone itself and maybe a maybe a thing so i kind of want to put another 
couple hundred dollars of equipment into my phone, but still, even then, it's better than a $3,000 camera and kind of okay for quality, depending on what you're doing. But let me know what you think. Sorgatron.com, please sign up for the newsletter this Friday, so you should be getting in your mailbox a little bit of a creator's newsletter, whatever thoughts I get to write down for the week, or maybe I got a uh, contributor this week. I'm working on a few of those. So uh, please go check that stuff out. Thank you so much for watching, listening, whatever the case may be. If you haven't, please subscribe on all the places. And please, if you're on iTunes or you have access to iTunes, even if you don't listen to us there, please put a rating in there so we can get out to more people. You have no idea how much that's going to help if you just go in there and put a star rating, even more so if you put an actual write-up rating. And uh, if I see that in there, I'll give you guys a shout-out on the show. Easy. iTunes, please. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.